Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today is car day, but we are doing a 3D project. You know me, especially during the holidays, I always like to do extra ones because yeah, we can always use these little extra treat holders. So I'm sharing this one today and it just opens. It has some Dollar Tree peanut butter eggs in it. So I'm just going to untie this and show you what's in it. So there are those three right there. And you could probably put a little candy bar. Anything that's flatter than a half inch tall will fit in here. You can put gum. You know, the packs of gum, I think, would fit in here. Um, maybe Hershey's. Uh, yeah, the Hershey's Nuggets would fit in here. Anything like that would fit in here. But it just opens like that. So I am going to tie this back up. This is what I'm making. I am using some of my favorite dies, and I just really wanted to use these um, dies. They're some of my favorite dies. I'm just going to leave that like that. And they are called the Scalloped Contour Dies. I am using this one right here. I use these so many times, y'all. These are such good dies. But that is what this outside is, and it makes it so cute. Better than just a rectangle. You know, it's just so cute with the little scalloped edge on it. So that's what I'm using for this. And I'm also using the Easter Bunny Bundle, which is this one. Actually, you have to buy them separately now. It was a bundle, and it, it's in the annual catalog, so you have to buy them separately. I think I said before you, you can get it as a bundle, but... I forgot this is in the annual catalog. So when it goes in the annual catalog, it comes back. It is going to be, you have to purchase it separately. When it's in a current catalog, you can get it as a bundle. That's why I always say when it's in a current catalog, like our mini, you buy them as a bundle and then you will save if you want to go back and get it. And then I'm using this paper is light, lighter than air. I love this paper. You can use every bit of this paper for these. I love the stripe because it just looks so festive to me. This one would be cute as well. Even this polka dot would be cute. Um, oh, look at this one. That would be cute too. But you can even this one. Would, all of them are so cute for this. And I love this paper. It's so cheerful and fun. All right, so this is what we're making. I am going to make a lemon lolly one this time. This one is Highland Heather, um, but we're going to make a lemon lolly one this time. I already cut out all the pieces, so I cut out two of these, which you need for that. And then you just need one piece is one and one half by four. We will score that. And then to mat it, we're using one piece that's four by two and a half, and then one piece that is three and three quarters by two and a half. So those are the two. They're just a little bit, one's a little bit bigger. The one that goes on the outside is a little bit bigger than the one that goes on the inside. And it's self-explanatory. Once I put this together, you'll see how easy this is to put together. So we are going to score this piece first. Well, let's do the bunny first. It's so much easier just to stamp, get everything ready and we can put it all together at one time. Let me see if my bunny will fit on here. This piece of scrap right here. Uh, just barely. Let me grab another piece. This one it'll definitely work on. So I'm going to grab my mat here. Why is it every time our puppy, we're, we're trying to train her not to be barking so much. She's a barker and we we haven't had a barker before <laughs> our other dog she was so quiet the last two actually were really quiet and she sees anything oh my goodness she is definitely a barker and every time I go online of course she's gonna start barking you watch all right so here's our little bunny I am using my Ohuhu markers this time to color it. You can see how beautiful these blend um, in coloring this. I'm making him a brown bunny. And I'm for those of you who have gotten these, I'm using E280, E210, and E470. So um, I'm just going to go with the light color first. And if you don't care about the coloring, 
This is where you can speed through it. I'll zoom in for you here. It's super simple coloring though. Um, I have these listed in the link listed in the description below. But I have really enjoyed these. They blend so good. I'm telling you, these are like my go-to, but I still use my blends because I definitely still like the blends. I love how they all coordinate with my um, designer series paper or my cardstock. Everything that Stampin' Up! does coordinates, and I love that about it. So when I'm using something that's going to coordinate perfectly and I have all the colors, I'll be using those. But you know I'm going to bring these out because I absolutely love these. They're so good. If, if you have gotten these, let me know what you're thinking of them. And it has two ends. I don't use the chisel very much. If I'm doing something very large, I'll use the chisel end, which is on the other side here. And then this one that has the line, like it has this little line, this is the, the uh, brush tip. Love it. All right, and then I'm going to take the darker one and we're just gonna shade a little bit here. It's not a whole lot of shading, but we're gonna do some here. And I'm going to do his tail a little bit darker. This tip is really nice on this one, too. I'm just going to go over a little bit with my lighter. And there's no rhyme to reason, rhyme or reason. <laughs> For how I'm coloring this, I'm just going by my eye here. I'm just shading some different areas that would be darker, like under the leg here and um, behind here. And I'm just going to do a little bit more here just to darken it a little bit. And that is all I'm doing, y'all. I'm going to do this little pink oh, wrong end just got through telling you what's the one that has the gray tip I'm gonna do his nose here inside his ear just like that and that is all I'm coloring I'm gonna leave the rest white because it's so cute I'm gonna grab my punch and we are gonna punch this little guy out he's so cute this is one of my favorite um, it's so cute See if I can line this up. And there's our bunny. He's ready to go. I'm going to use the bottom of this and I'm going to stamp the sentiment, the Happy Easter from this. And by the way, this is from all the same stamp set. I'll cut this and I'm just going to cut it. My, do my husband doesn't, <laughs> he's one of those that will say, oh, it's okay, like he tells her. I'm, I think I'm the one that's the teacher, <laughs> the two of us. He, he's just a sucker for, <laughs> and so there you go. Let's zoom back out. And we're going to put our box together. Super easy. Let's score this one piece. That's all we have to do is score this piece. It's super easy to put together. And we're only going to score on the one and a half inch side. And we're going to score it at one half. And one. And that's it. These will go together super fast for classrooms or nursing homes, anything like that, where you're going to have to make a bunch. Um, it goes together really easily. 
All right, so we are going to put this on here. I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus. So you're just going to run that along the here. Okay, so this piece we are going to attach here. And you're just going to attach it between these little, it has some little, um, I don't know if you can see it right here. It has some little design right here. I don't know what to call it, <laughs> but it's going to kind of go right between there. And I like to hold it up and look to where I'm putting it because I want it right up at the top here. Right where those little dots are. Just like that. And then we're going to put Stamp and Seal Plus here. You can use tear and tape for this too. And then this makes it just big enough to hold something a little bit bigger than, you know, just something flat. So we're going to put this one up against that too, and then just run your finger on there. And that's pretty much it. This is the, let's see, is this the bigger piece? This is the smaller piece. This is going to go in the bottom here. I'll just use this because it's here. I just liked matting it because it kind of hides that little flap there. And then this one goes on the front. I made this a little bit too long. Did I cut it right? I said four, right? Yeah. I think I need to cut just a tiny bit off of that. I'm going to grab my trimmer. I think four is going to be... All these measurements will be in the inspiration sheet. I'm only going to cut off a tiny bit here. I'll have it all in the inspiration sheet. Um, let's see if this works. Yeah, that's perfect. So do it three, about three and three quarters. That will fit perfectly in your square here. Because I, I like the design and I don't want to hide it. Now I'm going to grab my little hole punch here. I'm only using the eighth inch. I have this in the description below, marked below, um, because we don't carry this anymore. And I'm just going to center it and go right above those little dots again. And then we're going to do the same here. You know what, I'm going to put a little dot so I get it just right, right there. And then I know where I punch this one. All right, let's get our candy. These are the ones that I got. Y'all, they have all different kinds of candy you can put in this. Um, they have regular eggs. They have a lot of flat candy there that you can use for this. I'm going to use my Stamp and Seal Plus, and I'm just going to put it all the way across like that so I can put three of these on here. One in the middle. Oh, I have to go a little bit further. And then one here. And one here. Y'all, yeah, I always look at Dollar Tree because you can get some really good deals on your candy there. And we are going to just string this. Oh, I didn't put enough on that one. Or that one. <laughs> you can do them this way too. Not just um, any way you can get them on. You can use glue dots as well. I've used glue dots before. And then just string your ribbon through here. This is the same sheer ribbon um, that I've been using a lot lately. And I'm really just tying a knot in these. I'm not going to tie a bow. You can tie a bow if you like, but I'm just going to tie a knot. And that one I think I tied a double knot, but a single knot is works just as well. And then we're going to add our little bunny and our little happy Easter. I'm going to use my glue here. Just put that down at the bottom here, just above your little 
ribbon. And I'm going to use dimensionals to pop him up because he's just too darn cute and I really want to pop him up. I'm going to use the ends of this because I don't waste any of this, y'all. I always use the ends because it all sticks the same and no one's going to see the back. And then we're going to put the Easter Bunny right there. Isn't he cute? So here's the lemon lolly. Oh, look what I did. Make sure you stick these down good enough. I'm, I'm having a hard time today, y'all. Let's see. There we go. And I'm going to trim this up a little bit. I don't need all that. Because I am going to give these away. And there's the Highland Heather. You can do these in every color in this paper. But I thought I'd just change it up. I like to give you another idea. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. I have a new March host code, which is right here. If you place an order, I'd appreciate you using the host code. Thanks so much, everyone. I hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone.